everyone, Zelda Master here, and I'm excited to start this new LP, The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Personally, in my opinion, this is my favorite game of all time. Like, out of all the video games on Earth in this world, Majora's Mask is far by my personal favorite, <laughs> and this is my favorite Zelda game today, and it, it always will be. I mean, 3D, I get, I'm just going to count that as well. I'm not going to say Majora's Mask 3D is my favorite. I'm just going to say Majora's Mask itself. So I'm just gonna let you guys watch a little short intro here, just you know, give you a backstory. I first played this game, I believe, when I was let's see, yeah, born in Puerto Rico, moved to Louisiana around three or four. I think it was, yeah, I think I was about four, three. Let's just say I was three. And um, well, it was before I had my birthday. So yeah, yeah, three, yeah, three. Doesn't matter. And you know, my brother from his stepdad, he got Majora's Mask. Well, he got collector's edition disc, pretty much. Um, and yeah, so, and in, in that game contains Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, Legend of Zelda, and Zelda 2 The Adventures of Link. And that's how I first got to know Zelda for the first time, which from that disc that my brother got. He did play, he didn't really care about it though, um, he was like, I believe he was 7. And, um, so yeah, I picked it up and I played it, and it took me 3 years to beat it. You know, I'm that young, so I'm not gonna know what to do, and while well, other people may know what to do, I just... Uh, I did not have the IQ in that age to like, you know, um, get myself to know the area and what to do and... But yeah, enough of that, let's begin this LP, guys. The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. I find it funny because I was born the day of this game. Not not when it came out, like, this game was released. Let's erase a file here, I don't know why. I was doing a few speedruns, erase. I'm still trying to learn how to do it, it's kind of hard. We're gonna put Link because I always like to keep it original. Don't like to ruin it, you know. Yeah, this new GameCube, GameCube controller I have it was really good. Like honestly, I love it. So yeah, Link. The first one, obviously. In the land of Hyrule, there echoes a legend, a legend held dearly by the royal family that tells of a boy. A boy who, after battling evil and saving Hyrule, crept away from the land that made him a legend. Done with the battles he once waged across time, he embarked on a journey, a secret, personal journey. A journey in search of a beloved and invaluable friend. A friend with whom he parted ways when he finally fulfilled his hero heroic destiny and took his place among legends. I'm so excited, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm so excited for this game, oh my, I, I can't wait. This game's like, what? This game is like 10 times better than Skyward Sword. Way better, actually. This game is awesome. But I'm so excited. Like, like this new Genki control I got feels really, really good. Especially for speedrunning, I can't wait. And in speedrunning, you wouldn't usually do it in the Japanese version of the game, but for now I'm just going to do it on English, because I know nothing about speedrunning, so the text isn't going to matter really. At least for not now. So yeah, there's the opponent and Link, just, you know, in, um, wandering around the Lost Woods. And what are those two fairies, huh? Could that be Navi? It's not Navi, by the way, it's not. <laughs> I'm sure most of you played this game. And wow, so apparently the fairy scared the horse. Started on the horse, and now Link just fell off. And Link would not be. Okay, let's get real here. Link cannot get knocked out. Okay, Link can fall off a cliff and not get, like, unconscious. Alright, you just continue walking. There's no way this can, like, cripple Link or whatever. <laughs> you two fairies did great. I wonder if he has anything good on him. Hmm? This guy. Hmm. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. So, yeah, here we see the school kid. By the way, spoiler alert, this school kid is actually, the, so it's not really a spoiler, I don't know, but this school kid, if, if, if you haven't played OOT, Ocarina of Time, but this school kid is actually the same one that you play the song with in Lost Woods, mainly because, well, we'll get later, I don't want to spoil it for now. And he takes out his ocarina. Whoa, what a pretty ocarina. Hey, school kid, let me touch it. I want to see. You can, Tile. What would we do if you dropped it and broke it? No way, you can't touch it. Aw, but sis, why can't I try it out too? Cause you have no mouth. I don't know. And I think they like they do. It's like it's like Tinker but like they have a big ball of light. I have no idea. Oh, you busted, man! You are busted. 
<laughs> Butterfingers, and here's where the story begins. So yeah, I don't know why Epona is writing. Epona, can you not understand that Link is... Uh, I don't know. Oh man, I'm so excited to start. This game is my favorite. There's no scary spiders in this game. The game is really hard. It is considered the hardest Zelda game the first time you're playing it. Once you know what you're doing, it's not even that hard. The second hardest Zelda game, in my opinion, is Skyward Sword. But yeah, there we go, guys. Here we go. Let me put my mic. Actually, no, I'm going to leave my microphone like that. So here we go, you know. I'm going to go over here and get these rupees. Just a few of them, not too much. I don't want to waste my time in here. Ten rupees are already awesome. Alright, so yeah, um, we're in the Lost Woods right now, pretty much, this is the last time you'll be in the la last <clears throat> Lost Woods, you might as well enjoy the view, not really much of you in this, um, um, version of the game, but still, I love this, um, I love the N64 version, I haven't played Majora's Mask 3D yet, I don't have a 3DS because mine broke, I plan on getting the limited edition one once it becomes available, holy crap, it's not, alright, there we go, 27 rupees, not bad, we'll, we'll keep that, we'll keep that. So yeah, you want to jump on these wooden logs and let us take it to uh, let it take us to our destination. No, Link, don't run. Don't run, Link. Don't do it. Don't do it. No, no, and no. Don't. Da, 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 da. Yeah, there we go. Squad of law. We're off. And he falls. And we see all these weird iconic figurines or figures. I mean, those are masks. Some are. Uh, I don't really know what the others are. And bam. On a Deku pouch, or Deku flower, I think those are called. And there's a school kid. What's with that stupid horse of yours? It doesn't listen to a word that's said to it. There's no point in writing a thing like that, so I did you a favor and got rid of it. <laughs> Why, you little. Aw, oh, boo hoo, what a sad face. I just thought I'd have a little fun with you. Oh, come on now. Do you, do you really think you can beat me as I am now? Fool! Oh, what's happening to Link here? Skull Cage, you're hurting him. Stop. And yes, those are, um, scrubs. <laughs> Before it was, a, a, a it's not, I, I don't really like the word scrub, you know, that's pretty much an insult nowadays, but before it was cool, I guess you could say. Zelda had it first, and then Link's running away from one of the Deku, uh, Deku scrubs. Yeah, and what happens? Well, I guess he turned into one of my dogs barking, that's great. No! No! Yeah, that's right, everybody, we are a Deku scrub. Scrubs. Uh, Skull Kid, you're a dick. <laughs> now that's a good look for you. You'll stay here looking that way forever. My dog barking needs to be quiet. Oh my gosh. You have no idea. <laughs> and there goes Skull Kid. Sis! You guys notice like, that weird figurine? Or, not figurine. What did I always say that? That weird, like, face on the door? Whoa, whoa, Skull Kid, wait for me, I'm still here. Tell, you can't live without me. <laughs> you. If I wasn't dealing with you, I would have gotten separated from my brother. That was your fault, by the way. But don't just sit there, Deku boy. Do something. Why are you looking at me like that? What, is there something stuck on my face? Will you stop staring and just open that door for me? Please, come on, helpless little girl is asking you, so hurry up. Oh, Tile, I wonder if that child will be alright on his own. Alright, so here we are. Um, oh, I want to see something. Okay, just just wondering. Alright. Let's see. I was waiting near the door. Alright. We're now at least 50 rupees. I mean, rupees won't be important until, like, probably next episode, but still, you know. Hey, wait for me, don't leave me behind. So, um, that stuff back there, I, um, apologize, so take me with you. You want to know about that Skull Kid who just ran off, right? Well, I just so happen to have an idea of where he might be going. Take me with you and I'll help you out, deal? Please? 
Good, so then it's settled. Now then, I'll be I'll be your partner, or at least until we catch that school kid. My name's Tattle, so it's, uh, nice to meet you or whatever. Now that we got all that straightened out, can we stop messing around and get moving? If I figure out something out, if I figure something out, press the up, C stick, and I'll, oh, they mean to. I actually just, just did that. I'm not even gonna bother wasting time getting rupees down there. I've already wasted enough time in the beginning with all the rupees and crap. Hey, 35 rupees though, that's not, that's not too bad. But yeah, I want to start speedrunning this game. This will be my first game I will try and speed. I can't even speedrun until I learn all the tricks, so that's which I'm trying to do right now. So I'll go to this chest over here, and it contains a, uh, well... Let's write Deku Nuts. Yeah, you can actually drop these while you're flying. You know what? I'm sure all of you guys played this game, alright? I'm, I'm sure most of you have. There's no point, but still. Go over here. You, you, from the beginning, you, you, you could have gone to that one right there, but I mean, I had to, I wanted to get the chest to show you guys. This was a speed run, obviously. I wouldn't be doing that. Hey, you! Come on, press Z and talk to me. Uh, all right, Z. No, I'm gonna drop a load of crap on you. Okay, I missed. Whatever. It's strange, but the way you look, but the way you look right now sort of looks like this tree. It looks all dark and gloomy, almost like it could start crying ha any second now. How sad. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna spoil it, guys, but some of you know what that symbolizes. I'm not gonna say it, though. Alright, here it is, guys. This is the beginning. Nah, okay, everything begins now, I apologize. I know I said, like, three times already, but everything begins here. So there's this little well here with water. I'm not gonna mess around too much, though, so let's get on our way. So yeah, Link can hop on water. Just gonna show you that. We can only have boom, 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 boom. five hops, I think, or four. All right, let's do that pause glitch where you can get past the door with the cutscene. Just kidding, now. All right, you've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? Hmm. I own the Happy Mask Shop. I travel far and wide in search of masks. During my travel. A very during my travels, a very important mask was stolen from me by an imp in the woods. So here I am at a loss, and now I found you. Now don't think me rude, but I've been I have been following you. For I know of a way to return you to your former self. If you can get back the precious mask that was stolen from me, I will return you to normal. Normal. From you, my bad. I I cannot talk, guys. I apologize. In exchange, all I ask is that you also get back my precious mask that the imp stole from me. What? Is it not a simple task? Why, to someone like you, it should by no means to be a difficult task. Except, the one thing is, I'm a very busy fellow, and I must leave this place in three days. How grateful I would be if you could bring it back to me before my time here is up. But yes, you'll be fine. I see you're young and have tremendous courage. I'm sure you'll find it right away. Well then, I'm counting on you. I try to do a creepy mask salesman voice, don't blame me. Alright, we're gonna go outside right here. Done on the first day, 72 hours remain, wonder what that means. So here it is, everybody, Clock Town, or Kluk Town is what my friends call it, I don't know why. He gives me the creeps, that mask salesman was, uh... Sorry, just thinking out loud. Okay, I'm not doing the salesman voice anymore. We're not doing. But three days? Even if we never sleep, that still makes us. That still leaves us with a measly 74 hours, 72 hours. We don't just stand there. We're gonna go see the great fairy. Look, you wanna find the skull kid, don't you? The great fairy will know what he's up to. She watches over everything. And just between you and me, the skull kid is no match for the great fairy. Go to the shrine near the north gate. You'll find the great fairy in there. And I wouldn't be so sure about that. So um, yeah, guys, here we are. Luke Town was. Holy crap, why is there a moon? Why is there a moon? Okay, you know what? This game is... No wonder this is the darkest Zelda game. Hey, little puppy. How you doing? Oh, how you little... Come back here. Where you at? I'm gonna get you. Okay, now let's, let's ignore that. From for now... Um, so yeah, we want to do what Tattle said. Go back. I don't know where I'm going. Actually, no, let's take a little tour first. We're not in a rush, actually. I believe this is East Clock Town. Yes, East Clock Town. So here we are. 
But no, one thing we want to do actually, no, let's go back, I apologize. We want to go over here to the, um, the laundry place. All the way over here. What it's called, not, not like an actual laundry, but... <laughs> yeah, laundry pool. So here we are. And... I'm gonna break these blocks. It should give us five rupees. Alright, five rupees. I'm just trying to get as many rupees as I can. Alright, I apologize. Oh, no, wait, no, actually, no, go back. Yeah, fairy. There is a fairy. Alright. Please hear my plea. The mask will get has broken me apart and scattered my pieces. Please find a way to return me to the fairy town in North Clock Town. Alright. Damn. Let's get out of here. Um, we're not gonna do that just yet. Actually, no. Yeah, yeah. Wait, is there anything else we should do? Mm, no, we can't get any heart pieces right now. Not until... I'm not gonna say actually, but... Later on, probably next episode, we'll get quite a few, actually. Let's go over here. I mean, there is one heart piece we can get, probably maybe in this episode. We'll see. Alright, enough with the rupees, man. No with the rupees, that's too much. So yeah, the north uh, clock town is over here, where we can find the Great Fairy. So yeah, here it is, North Clock Town. And why on earth is there a, a balloon of Madura? Well, I mean, it's Skull Cape, but I mean, he's wearing Madura's mask, but why on earth? I don't know. Alright, come on. Come on. 50, just at least 50, man. I'll, okay, forget you. I'm gonna go over here. How much time we got? 16 minutes? Alright, each episode's probably gonna be like 20 something. But this, I want the first episode to be long. Anyway, so yeah, go in here. Fairy's Fountain. To bring the... Oh no, the Great Fairy. What happened? They look weird in this game. Just look at them. Oh my gosh. Not that they looked weird in Wind Waker. Hello. Wait, is she naked? I can't really... I'm not even... I'm, never mind. We're done. I'm sorry. <laughs> Tato and you, young one of the altered shape. Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. I am the great fairy of magic. I thought that Master Shad was helping me and I grew careless. All I can offer you now is this. I shall grant you magic power as a sign of my gratitude. Please accept it. Alright, she looks creepy. Look look at that face right now. Just, oh man. Gives me the chills. See, it right off the bat we get our magic meter, unlike in Alcarina where you get to be like, the, what, second dungeon to get it? Yes, match meter added. You've been granted magic power in your current form. We're not even going to read that. There's no point. I'm not going to read everything. Oh my gosh, please no. The man who lives in the observatory outside of town may know of the Skull Kid's whereabouts, but be careful. You must not underestimate that child's power, kind young one. If ever you are returned to your former shape, come see me. I shall give you more help. And you never will, actually. You're always gonna be a duck of scrub in this game, so there's no, there's no way you can be, you can ever be a human again. So I don't know why Nintendo put that in there, but yeah. Anyway. <laughs> oh man, why am I saying this? So you're gonna pop the balloon, pop the cherry. All right. What was that? <laughs> that was me, sir. You're a kid. What should I call you, sir? Are you the one who just popped that up there? Not bad for a Deku scrub. We bummers have a hideout that leads to the observatory outside town. You need a code to get in. Maybe I'll tell you what it is. But don't think you're getting it that easily. I can't just tell you what the code is. You have to pass my test first. Are you ready? Alright, line up, guys. Okay, first of all, how do they get all the way over here? Because some of them are, like, spread out. It makes no sense at all. If you can find all five of us by tomorrow morning, I'll teach you the code. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> Alright, so the first one is over here. Yes, 50 rupees now, actually. Yes! 50 rupees, 50 rupees, 50 rupees. 50 rupees. 57. Alright, so we're gonna go slowly. Just gonna go slowly. Now! Got you. Aw, oh, you caught me. Now there are only four left. Alright, that's one. I believe the other one is over here. Or I think there's, I, think there's, I know there's two in one of the areas I believe. I'm not really sure, but this, this isn't hard. So the first one is right. There. I think there's an easier way to get that one, but whatever. Come on. Got you. Oh, you caught me. Now there are only three left. Okay, I remember who the other one is actually. 
I'm gonna go up here, right? On this. I don't know what to call this. A, de a deck of flower? I don't know. It doesn't really matter. See, he's right there. So, wanna, what you wanna do is like trap him and. Oh, dang it. Whatever. I don't think I can either way. Oh. Nah, you caught me. Now there are only two left. You guys wanna know a cool, a cool glitch? Most of you speedrunners know this. Just go back here. You can actually, like. I don't wanna do it because I don't wanna show you guys from another, um, another part of this game. Till next episode. Because I don't wanna spoil anything. But yeah, let's continue. So, let's see the next one. Over here. Yeah, over here. Oh, I just realized I skipped one in the other place, but we'll, we'll get back there. There's actually two in the north, two in the east, and one in here. So, welcome to West Clock Town. Probably my favorite area in Clock Town. It's like a little... It's like, not really, like, narrowed. It kind of is, a little bit, but... This is where I would hang out if it was a real place. So, yeah, it's, there's a guy right there, and... Oh, you caught me. Now there's only one left. I'm, I'm really good at this game. Oh my gosh. Like, I'm really good at tag. Like, what's it called? Hide and say. I'm sorry. What, what What? do I mean by what's it called? I should know that. But, um, I guess that, um, attributes to this game also. 60 rupees, baby. Alright, we're good. 50 ru 60 rupees in. And the last one's actually over here. I forgot about him. It's been a while since I played Majora's Mask, but I know like I know like 99% of the hard pieces. So don't worry about it. Oh no way! You finally got me. Finally, well, that was my first attempt. What do you mean? You're pretty good for a Deku scrub. If only you were human, then I could give you an original bummer notebook and make you a member. What do you guys think? No way! No scrubs. Someone give him a cookie. Okay. I guess not. Once we let some kid who wasn't human join our gang, and boy, did we ever regret it. Sorry. And he's talking about school kid, by the way. But I'll teach you the code, just like I promised. I can tell you only once. Those will pay. So pay close attention. Are you ready? All right. The code is two five three four one. The entrance to our hideout is in East Clock on two five three four one. Got it. Two five three four one. Two five three four one. Two five three four one two. I should remember that. Come on. I think it's always a different code. Is it? I'm not really sure. Two five three four one. Two five three four one. Count for me, guys. Two five three four one. Two five three four one. Not there. It's over here. My gosh, man. My TV's kind of like a little here. I'll fix that later. Actually, but two five three four one. Two five three four one. If you want to pass through here, you have to say the secret code. Two five. Four, two, five, four. No, two, five, three, four, one. Two, five. Uh, if you know, um, that's right. If you know the code, then you're a human, right? Then you're a member, right? <laughs> okay, then here you go. And then he tells us, "Oh, there's a lot of cool stuff that Telecoast guys plays. Oh yeah, and um, the Bomber Secret Society of Justice. Bro, oh, be quiet, you little scrub. Let's go in here." Alright, spin, you spin me right around, baby, right around like a reservation. Okay, that's not. Here's one of my most feared uh, Zelda enemies. I'm not really scared of them in this game, they don't even look scary in this game, so. Oh, that's okay, I guess. Well, yeah, I can. Yeah. Alright, and everybody, here is my favorite area, and from pretty much. All the Zelda games combined, here's my favorite Zelda area. We're almost there. Alright. That's right, everybody. The Astro Observatory is my favorite area in any Zelda game. Well, I mean, Majora's Mask, but every other Zelda game combined, yep. The reason this is my favorite place in Zelda is because, like, just, like, the beauty of it and the music and everything it just matches it, you know? And... This is my favorite area. I man, I love a room like this. That'd be nice. Anyway, um, so to this guy. Well, well, a strange-looking child has joined me today. Are you a new friend of the bomber's gang? Hmm, you might have seen much better than those of your mischievous friends from the other day. Harp, harp, harp. That ill man of troublemaker from the other day said he'd break my instruments. He said he'd steal my moon's tear. There was no stopping him. Even now, just watch him. He's probably causing trouble around the clock tower. Will you gaze into the telescope? Yes, sir. 
Let's go up. Mother of whoa. Oh, the moon's crying, guys. <laughs> oh, well then. Seriously? <laughs> uh, the first time I saw that, I was like, what? Whoa, did you find that troublemaker? And that loud noise? What was that? Perhaps another moon's tear has fallen nearby. Go through that door and take a look outside. But I wonder how that troublemaker got on top of the clock tower. The only way up there is through the clock door, and that opens only on the eye eve of the carnival. I don't know, he can fly or jump high. Never thought about that. Night of the first day, 60 hours remain. Alright, we're not, we're good. It's not bad. You got the moon steward. Sparkling beauty radiates rather strangely. Alright, so start button. I always get confused with the home button. I don't want to press the home button. No, please no. I'd waste like 20 seconds probably. Or, no, 10 I think. Wait, I wonder, does he say anything if we show it to him? I don't think so. Oh no, I didn't mean to. Oh man. Too late. I, was, I apologize. I didn't think you would. Whatever. Alright. So now, what we want to do is pretty much we're going to make it. There's three days in this game. We're going to make it the third day right now. We have nothing else to do, pretty much. So we're going to talk to this character. He's also in the end, the, um. East clock down in one, in one of the shops. The uh, we just look to the left. It's not the bomb shop. There's three shops. It's not the curiosity shop. Yo, hey baby, I'm a silent scarecrow wandering in search of pleasant music. Time will pass in the blink of an eye. If you dance with me, if you like, baby, we can forget the time and dance till dawn. Shall we dance? I I had to do a scarecrow voice. I did like some. I described it. I don't know what to describe, but I had to do a scarecrow voice. So why is there a like, cuckoo and I don't know. Dawn of the second day. <laughs> Big telescope. Oh yeah, how was it? It went by in an instant, right? I'm still full of energy. Alright, we're not... We were wasting too much time in this, um, part one of reading the dialogue and crap. We just need to, you know, enjoy it and, uh... Well, I mean, that is enjoying it, I guess, but, you know, hurry up a little bit more. Night of the second day. Come on, man. Wait, yeah, we, we can just talk to the granny. Oh, man, I could have done that. You know what? Whatever, it's fine. We're just going to continue. I apologize. Let's just go. My gosh, I am dumb. And my Skyward Sword, my Skyward Sword LP went better in part one than this. I apologize. Alright, there we go. Alright, so two more times, I think. An easier way to do this is, like... Just go, to, just go to the granny, talk to her, she'll read you a story, and like, it'll last one day, I guess, I don't know how, but logic. And then she reads you another story, and then it lasts another day, and bam. And then you, then you go to the scarecrow, and then it'll be night. That's what you do. Alright, yes. So, yeah, one more time, I think. Yeah, this should be it. Okay, we're at 28 minutes, not too bad. What you doing? Night of the final day. Twelve hours remain. Oh yeah, how was it? Wouldn't buy an instant I'm still full of energy. But outside it seems to have gotten kind of dangerous. Yikes, I'm getting out of town. Take care. I know of a mysterious song that I'm good. I already know it. No. I don't know how can you take us can you take us can you take the can you take the whole town with you actually? <laughs> oh yeah, no, no respawn. Okay, I see how it is Nintendo. See, now we're just gonna run away. I wonder if the spider responded. No. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna go outside. And one thing I love about this game that I love how it looks like outside. It looks really nice and beautiful. And Hold on, I'm gonna try something. Oh, let's go, Shiloh. Uh, okay. No, okay. I'm not scared. It's just I got surprised. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I forgot about one being there. I don't go there a lot, but I think you can get 100 rupees from there via bomb or something like that. Anyway, just look at how beautiful it looks like at night. Like, look at that, guys. Just, like, the purple sky and the radiant color. It looks really nice. I just, oh man. 
I love it. Anyway. So yeah, you're like wondering, what are we going to do with this moon tier, huh? Well, I'll get to that. I'm going to go over here. This is um, where you want to continue. You know, I'm not even going to say anything, because I'm sure you guys know what, um, what I'm... Here, hold on. We're going to mess around for a bit. We have time. Wait. How do you... Can you not do the... Uh... This is what speedrunners do, but um, hold on. Yeah, there's nothing at this point. We have to wait till 12 o'clock, so don't worry about it, guys. So be like, stop messing around. Well, we're buying time. I mean, we're I mean, not buying time. We're just messing around. How do you do the? Uh... Um, okay, I'm pressing the L button. Hold on. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. So. I'm done. All right, we'll go. So we're gonna go over here. Oh, it's golden, not like pinkish, um, green. Wait, wait, hang on. Yeah, that's a bad voice for a deck of scrub. This guy looks old, so. <clears throat> this is my private property. Don't try using it when I'm not around. How about? Would you like this? Sweet mother of Mr. Krabs. Ah, that stone. You must hand it over to me. Exchange. I'll give you my spot here. Thicker flower included. Yes. Oh, 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 you traded the moon's tear for a land title deed. You really held me out. Now I have the perfect souvenir for my wife. She hasn't set eyes on jewel or a strange sparkling stone like that in a very long time. The title deed for this spot should be high in demand among Dickestrips, but you already know that. No, I don't actually. You don't need it anymore. You can always sell it. Okay, yeah, I did know that. Yeah, actually, yeah. Now that I think about it. There is something we can do with this, I think, but only on the first day, like around 12 o'clock, I think it was, but we're not going to worry about that for now. Actually, yeah, I, I think you'll... No, I'd rather do this next episode, and I don't want to do that now. So, yeah, um, go on here, and bam, first heart piece is right there. That's nice. I've been eating, I was like, okay, guys, we need one more heart piece. Where are we going to put it? It's like, no, why not put it in the beginning? Okay, that works. <laughs> Each new container you can ha ha whatever. The door to the clock tower opens only once a year at midnight on the eye of the carnival. And we're still gonna mess around, we have time. Can you not do like the um uh... how do you Okay, this is not what I wanna Alright, and I'll screw around. <laughs> Alright. Oh no we have oh my bad guys. One more thing, one more thing. Get, we have 81 rupees, so we're gonna go over to this bank right here, and this is a matter of, like, well, I'll explain that later. I'll tell this guy, hey there, little guy, why don't you deposit some rupees? And nowadays, even if people had money, they don't even deposit any. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Alright, man. For example, if you deposit 200 rupees, you'll get an item that holds a lot of rupees. Ooh, deposit, okay. So, uh, 81. Yep. That is a lot. Hmm, a link, is it? Got it, I won't forget your name. Alright. Alright, man, enough of this. We're wasting enough time trying to get rid of crap. Alright, one more thing. No, I'm not gonna do that. Alright. So once it turns 12 o'clock, here's what happens. Fireworks. Did you just say fuck it? Let's not make a regular show reference in this game, please no. And that's right, everybody. Yep, the doors start to open, leading us to the top of the clock tower. And pretty much the moon is crashing, pretty much, by the way. I haven't mentioned the moon, like, I only mentioned, like, twice in this playthrough at part one. That's, uh, I apologize, but I mean. It's quite obvious that's the main conflict in this part. There's a treasure chest we can get over here really quick, so we're gonna get that. Oh yeah, okay, I was about to say. I believe it contains... Other way, I don't know why they would do that. 50, are you kidding me? Okay guys, we're going over here, I apologize. This is like really... This isn't, like, I know what to do before I started this, but... I mean, we're good, we're not doing anything wrong. I'm just taking up too much time with rupees. But well, this is good because next episode we're gonna have a lot of time left. Yes, I want to put 50 rupees in, sir. 
Oh, 50, 50, 50, 50. All right. All right, we're close to 200. All right, let's go, guys. I apologize. Forgive me. Forgive me. Let's go over here. Okay, there we go. Bam! What's in there? Oh, he had the heart. Don't stop now. Look, you can get up there now. How does it look like? Oh, okay. Yeah. Here we are. Skull Kid. Why, you little? Sis! Ah, uh, Tao, we've been looking for you two. Hey, Skull Kid, what if you give that mask you're wearing back now? Hey, come on, are you listening? Swamp, mountain, ocean, canyon! Hurry, the four who are there, bring them here! Don't speak of out of line, stupid fairy. No, what are you doing to my brother? Skull Kid, do you still think you're our friend after that? Well, whatever. Even if they were to come now, they wouldn't be able to handle me. <laughs> just look above you. If it's something that can be stopped, then just try to stop it. No, Link. No, I mean, not. What are they saying? And now the moon is on a collision with Earth. With Earth. Not Earth. Yeah, that's not how you say it. Yeah, that's, that's bad, you know, and there's no way we can stop it, guys. And this, 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 it's game over. That's pretty much how the game ends. Obviously not. Take this. And pop the cherry. Oh. That's right, we're gonna, be, oh, we're gonna get it quick now. Just we can leave it there for five minutes and we won't really care. I mean, three minutes. The moon crashes in five minutes. You got the awkward of time back. Princess Zelda gave you this precious instrument. Set it to C and use A and the four C buttons to play it. Press B to stop. Suddenly, memories of Princess Zelda come back rushing to you. Come rushing back to you. Man, I, I really gotta practice. It's been a while since I've done an LP of um, Zelda. Like four weeks. You're already leaving this land of Hyrule, aren't you? Even though it was only a short time, I felt like I've known you forever. I'll never forget the days we spent together in Hyrule. And I believe in my heart that a day will come again. Will come when I shall meet you again. Until that day comes, please take this. I am praying. I am praying that your journey be a safe one. If something should happen to you, remember this song. This reminds me of us. Still a better love story than Twilight, right? So this is the same song in Ocarina of Time, except it plays a different purpose in this game. A way different purpose. I'm just practicing playing fast. Yeah, I, w I really want to start speedrunning this game, but I gotta learn the basics first, and I barely know one. All I know is to all I know is how to do the infinite sword glitch. That's sad. I know. You remember the song of time, this melody lingering on the edges of your mind. It is a song of memories of Princess Zelda. No, Zelda, baby, come back. And there he goes. The goddess of time is protecting you. If you play the song of time, she will aid you. Hmm. Snap out of it. What are you doing lost in memories? Get yourself together. Getting that old ocarina back isn't going to help us. Somebody, anybody, goddess of time, help us, please. We need more time. That's right, everybody. We're going to get out the ocarina and play the song of time. Huh? When did you get that instrument? Whoa, it's not an ocarina. Okay, then. Bam. I'm a fast player. Save and return to the dawn of the first day. Yep, everybody, that's how you save in this game. You can also use the save states. My friend keeps on bugging me about um, the owl statues once you hit them. But yeah. And you start to, and you lose your um you lose your stuff by the way. You don't lose like your items that you get from dungeons, but you only lose like the availability like the um 
Okay, let's say I, get, I have bow and arrow, and I get 10 of them. Well, I'm going to lose all 10, but I'll still have the bow. Just not, no arrows, pretty much. And if I get the hook shot or something like that, then, you know, I'm not going to lose it, because, you know. Anyway, so yeah, Link is having memories and everything. Well, not memories. He's going back in time, pretty much. Obviously. Dawn of the first day. 72 hours remain. Whoa. What, what, what just happened? Everything has... Hmm, no idea. Start it over. Oh! What, what are you anyway? That song you played, that instrument. That, that instrument. Wait, that's it, your instrument. Okay, you said like, the master husband said that if you got back the precious thing that was stolen from you, he could return you to normal. Did you completely forget or what? Alright. Were you able to recover your precious, precious item from that imp? Oh, 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 you got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. Then listen to me. Please play this song that I'm about to perform and re remember it well. Ben drowned. Follow along after me. Alright, looks relatively easy. This is called the Song of Healing, by the way. Probably my third, no, probably my second favorite Zelda song. It may be first, actually. And judging by its name, you can tell what's going to happen already. Song of Healing. Bye, have a wonderful time. <laughs> I don't know why Link's waving, but okay. <laughs> And that's right, everybody. Link is back to normal as a human. This is a melody that heals evil magic and troubled spirits, turning them into masks. I am sure it will be of assistance to you in the future. It definitely will be. Ah, uh, yes. I give you this mask in commemoration of this day. Fear not, for the magic has been sealed inside the mask. When you wear it, you will transform to the shape you just wore. When you remove it, you will return it. You you will return to normal. All right, now to give him back Majora's mask. You got the Deku mask. Keep to keep it as a memento. All right, cool. So now we're gonna give him back Majora's mask really quick. Oh wait, now I have fulfilled my promise to you. So please give me back. Give me that which you promised me. Nope. You're gonna get it now, boy. Don't tell me. My mask. You did. Get it back. Did it, you? What have you done to me? If you leave my mask out there, something terrible will happen. Hmm? The mask that was stolen from me. It is called Majora's Mask. It's an accursed item from legend that is said to have been used by an a ancient tribe in its hexen rituals. Huh, Twilight Princess. <clears throat> or the what? It is said that an evil and wicked power is bestowed upon the one who wears that mask. According to legend, the troubles caused by Majora's mask were so great. The ancient ones fearing such catastrophe sealed the mask and preventing and shadow forever preventing its misuse. But now that tribe from the legend has vanished, so no one really knows the true nature of the mask's power. But I feel it. Oh, I went to great lengths to get that legendary mask. When I finally had it, it was sent to doom of a dark omen brewing. It was it, it was that unwelcome feeling that makes your hair stand on end. And now the imp has had. The, the, now that imp has it. I'm begging you. You must get that mask back quickly, or something horrible will happen. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. You must do it. <laughs> really? You do it for me? I was certain you would tell me that. 
You'll be fine. Surely you can do it. Believe in your strengths. Believe. Trust your instincts. No, I'm kidding. Go back here really quick, actually, just to take a look. I know it's a Ninja Turtles mask. Oh, no, that's Mario. Why did I say Ninja Turtles? But, um, I think there is a Ninja Turtles mask, right? Like, right there, I guess. Is that... I, I don't know. I, there's, like, Michelangelo, or, or... I don't know. I don't watch Ninja Turtles. I apologize. I didn't grow up in the 80s. Don't blame me. That mask. The Skull Kid uses the power of that mask to do those terrible things. Well, whatever it takes, we've got to do something about it. The swamp, mountains, ocean, and canyon that's Hell was trying to tell us about. I bet he was referring to the four areas just outside of town. There's one in each compass direction. But what do you suppose he meant by the four? Who are they? Who are they? I have no idea. He always gets important stuff. I guess we should just go and find out. If we go through that gate straight ahead, we'll be heading in the direction of the swamp. Yeah, guys. That'll, well, we're not even going to go to the swamp next episode. We're going to have a little bit of fun next episode, probably. Or after the first dungeon. We'll see you guys. But that is everybody I'm going to save right now, and that'll be it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. Take care. Sorry for a little bit of... I didn't really mess up, but, like, I was trying to... Uh, more so, I was focusing on the rupees, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Take care, and bye.